Hello and welcome to the March edition of the First Friday Video. My name is Kelly Dampfus. I'm the Chancellor here at Arkansas State University. You know, with all the recent ice and sleet and snow, it's wonderful to be outside today. It's a beautiful day out here. Many of you know that our Discover 2025 strategic plan includes pillars that are related to community outreach and building a positive on-campus environment for every Red Bull. Now I'm joined today by Cameron Cooper. He's the head fitness instructor and Cameron's going to tell us a little bit about employee fitness opportunities here at Arkansas State. Welcome to the First Friday Video, Cameron. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jen. Now you're also one of our alumni. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, Graduated sir. just a couple years ago. Yes, sir. You know, one of the reasons why Cameron and I are outside today is to celebrate the major expansion of our campus trail system here. Uh, I know you're really excited about getting this thing going. Absolutely, I can't wait for things to kind of warm up a little bit and then we can actually get to use these trails. Well, it's really exciting because, you know, we had the trail system that's that we put in place just a couple mm -hmm. years ago that ended behind the library and now we're going to take this all the way out to uh, uh, the, the area right mm -hmm. beside the, foot, the baseball field and then beyond that to expand and do a whole loop at the end here. So it'll be a great place for people to come ride their bikes, walk around campus and and experience campus in a real wonderful way, so we're excited about that. Now, Cameron, let's talk a little bit about Red Wolf Fitness. As I understand it, I have not participated myself, <laughs> perhaps I should, uh, but this is something that's free to all faculty and staff on our campus. Yes, sir. So we are free to all employees. Uh, we also have free uh, fitness classes as well as yoga classes, if that's more interesting to you. So, so do you teach yoga yourself? I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a t uh, yoga instructor. I am the head fitness instructor, so I do teach a lot of those classes. That's great. So what, in addition, of that do you offer to all our employees? So we actually do a lot of challenges. Uh, as of right now, we are starting our step challenge, our fitness challenge of body weight loss and body fat percentage loss. All right, now you're meddling. So uh, <laughs> I get too close to, to home here, but no. Uh, no, that's good because we want our, our employees to be healthy and we've got a great facility here and a great leadership here and any opportunity we can to enhance the experience of our, our faculty and staff on our campus is a great opportunity to, to take advantage of those things to help help our, our, our folks become more healthy. Absolutely. So it's great to provide your expertise with our facilities. And this is also a great learning space for our students as well, yeah. not just a place for faculty and staff to work out, but for our students to learn about their future careers. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So we also offer pre-internships where students are allowed to come in and take a client of their own. Uh, but we also 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 offer uh, personal training for faculty and staff that does come with a little bit of price, but great expertise behind it. So what are some of the other programs you all have? So we do fitness challenges such as step challenges where you get on a small group of a team, uh, typically about five. We try to get as many steps as you can. Additional prizes come with that. We also do body fat percentage as well as weight loss overall. Now step challenges, that's where the trail system comes in, This is where right? the trails come in. This is where people can come in and get a nice 5K, 10K walk in um, and be in a safe and beautiful environment. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now, do people check in and get some kind of odometer or something or are they just... Typically it's just off of how their watch goes um, and just if you have your phone with you, that keeps track of the work. Yeah, I have one that keeps track of my, of my steps as well, but it never seems to read it right. I always seem to be undercounting that. I need so. to shake that just yeah, a little bit more. And maybe while I'm sitting at my desk, I can move it around or something like that. If you have a dog ball, it means. <laughs> hey, that's a great idea. They get people involved with this. That's fantastic. Thanks so much again for joining us today. Tell sure. us more about the programming for our faculty and staff that's available for their health, but also internships for our students as well. So it's really great to hear more about that. Now, where can we learn more about your program? You can just go to our website, um, and or you can give us a call during our regular business hours, Monday through Thursday from 6 to 7, or Friday from 6 to 6. That's awesome. Thanks so much for joining us today, Cameron. So great to see you, one of our alumni working here. We have so many alumni working at Arkansas State University, but your job is special because you're making the lives of our employees better, which is, again, part of our Discover 2025 strategic plan, so awesome. very grateful for that. You know, while working out at Hypis is for our employees, I want to stress that our on-campus paths are open to the entire community. Starting back in 2014, our pedestrian and cyclist paths, the PAC Pass Committee, began with marking existing walkways and on-road trails to raise awareness of safety. With a series of grants supported by the Arkansas Department of Transportation, A-State began a series of multi-use path upgrades. Our first phase opened in 2019, and while COVID slowed progress, we are ready in March to see the second phase open up. Yeah. This new section includes a protected multi-use path where we repurposed existing four-lane roads to stretch our grant funds and increase the safety for pedestrians. Our next phase is already in the planning stage, and when completed, we will have safe, separated paths that are ready for our city to connect and extend their trail plans. 
For our students and faculty, March means midterms, and with the recent ice and sleet, I'm betting we'll see a lot of our Red Wolves out getting an important break from studying and grading by using our pack paths. Our trails are part of a state wanting to become a place where people want to work and to visit. But we also want the community to be here as well. Now, I know that coming onto a university campus can seem intimidating to people who aren't working or going to school here. You may not know where to park and if you should be on campus. If you just go to astate.edu slash bike, you can find information about where visitors can park during the school day and a map of all of our paths. We've got suggested one mile, 5K and 10K routes right on our campus here. And if you come to campus on the weekends with your family, remember, unless a parking spot is reserved or we have some special event going on, you can park anywhere to use our trails. So as it warms up in March and April, I'm looking forward to seeing you and your family walking, running, riding, or even skating on our pack paths. Well, that wraps things up now for the first Friday video for March. If you ever want to reach out to me to ask me about what's going on at Arkansas State, don't forget you can always email me at chancellor at astate.edu or follow me on social media at KDAMP. I can't wait to see you out on the pack paths this spring. And when I see you, don't forget, wolves out.